Welcome back to our Canvas Gradebook tutorial series. In this video, we'll cover how to enter and manage grades effectively. We'll look at different methods of entering grades, providing feedback, and using SpeedGrader. Let's get started. In the Gradebook, you can manually enter grades directly into a cell. Click on a cell corresponding to a student and an assignment, and then type the grade. Press Enter to save. For a more detailed grading process, you can use the speed grader. There are many ways to access the speed grader. One way is directly from within the gradebook. Find the assignment in question, click on the three dots, and then click speed grader. Speed grader allows you to view and grade student submissions in one place. It is also an annotation tool, so you can add comments, you can highlight content, you can strike out content, and you can leave other annotations. The SpeedGrader tool is particularly useful for leaving detailed feedback. To enter a grade in SpeedGrader, simply click on this box and enter the number. After you've left a review for one student, you can scroll to the next student and complete the same process. The gradebook page also allows you to enter grades in bulk. Find the activity in question, click the three dots, and then choose Set Default Grade. Enter the grade, click Set Default Grade, and we see all those grades have been entered. If you wanted to curve a grade, you would go into the gradebook, find the assignment in question, click on the three dots, choose Curve Grade. Be sure that you read any red text on a red background as it contains important information. You enter the score and you click the Curve Grade button. Some Canvas assignments can be automatically graded by Canvas, such as certain quiz questions. Those assignments will have the grade automatically entered and you will not have to do so manually. Managing grades in Canvas Gradebook is efficient and versatile, allowing you to provide timely and meaningful feedback to your students. We have seen that grades can be entered manually in the Gradebook page, through SpeedGrader, or even automatically entered via Canvas. In our next video, we'll explore advanced Gradebook settings and features. Thank you for watching and see you next time.